Yes. You guys are awesome together. I love watching the show, Thank the two you. of you. Thank you. But now I'm kind of terrified that with the whole big arms injury that it's going to cause a rift. It looks because, I mean, you're dealing, your character's dealing with a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So how do you think that's going to affect your ongoing relationship? Well, we already know how it's going to affect it because we've shot all that. But um, well, pretend that you. But you're a bit of a witch because it will affect things, and uh, pretty strongly, I think. We were just joking in the other table that you know his uh, max biggest fear is robots, and oh. Yo Yo's not part robot in some way or another. Even though, like, was it what episode was it that you said not the important parts or something? I think, I think that was last yeah, night. Uh, no, the one. No, it was before. the one before yeah. last night. Oh, was it? Yeah. Uh, last night you got her the robot arms and tested oh, them out. Oh yeah. Oh, so right, it's right. really, it's really a, a fun thing that both of us were so against robots in, in 409 when we shot Ada down from the from the airplane and we're giving all these lines uh, about I mean, 80s Terminator, and 90s movies. Terminator Genesis. You exactly. Know? We're talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Terminator then, Salvation. Yeah, we're talking about it in that on. episode, and then she becomes and he's helping her become a robot. So it's there's a cool play there, but emotional wise, I think it's going to take a toll for sure. Is there going to be a deadly friend reference? I mean, we've done chopping with robots. It should be a deadly friend. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> what is that? What? Deadly friend. She gets a robot oh. brain, his best friend. And oh, she really? She's killing people with like basketballs. It's horrible. <laughs> In the 80s. You know how much I, I had to look up every single every one of those references. I was like, what are they talking about? Yeah. They're really obscure references. Yeah. yeah. It makes it weird that I know. So, how, did, how great has it been for you guys to see this relationship from where it started to, to where it is now over the course of multiple seasons? Yo Yo and Matt. How has it been? Yeah, like getting to develop this whole relationship and this kind of um, great romance between you two. Oh, I think it's fantastic for a multiple amount of reasons. Um, firstly, uh, having a relation, a love relationship with Henry and Yo-Yo with Matt uh, helped me probably become a series regular, so thank you so much. Um, no, seriously, when I saw a bit of Spark, I was like, I'm going to make that happen. <laughs> Because they, they, they won't be, it won't be easy to kill me that much. If the fans love the relationship. No, but the main reason why I love it is because it's rare to see a grown-up relationship that's that mature, that's uh, that has the values I think that Mac and Yo-Yo have, that love each other with the respect and admiration that they do, and on top of it all, that are uh, people of color uniting and saving the world loving each other through it and protecting each other. I think it's a great reflection of the world I love and the world I want to see more of. Oh, you looking at me? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like it. I mean, I think, um, as I said before, I, I, the thing I like about it is that it, uh, well, I agree with Natalia, I'll say that, that it is a mature relationship. It's not based on just feelings. It's, it's really two people that are committed to each other. And you see us go through ups and downs, uh, and through all our trials and everything, we're still together. I think uh, you know, I think it's 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 good. And as an actor, I like it because uh, it creates more nuance, more levels, and it gives us uh, it gives us more challenges story-wise. Now, for those of us who watched last night, we were a little blind spots. <laughs> That's all I got. That's, that's the only way you can describe it. Oh, serious. <laughs> there, and I don't mean to just harp on the relationship aspect, but where you come from and where you come from, such diverse places. And I mean, you were just like the straight and narrow, and she's just from, from the hood. You can, can figure it out together. I love the fact that. I love the fact that somewhere in this dimension of law enforcement and doing the right thing, somehow you two are trying to maintain this moral compass because there's a lot of moral compass uh, sacrificing going on. Mm -hmm. Can we keep, are we going to, do you think we're going to keep that with you two as individuals and as a couple? Because that's, that moral compass is kind of a foundation of what she was supposed to be. Right. Doing the good thing, doing the right thing, and now that you're maybe, maybe not looking up the Hydra, that's a, that's a hell of a 
Mac? Well, I will say for 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 me, it's it it's inherent. It's in Mac because I mean, even in I think it was the second season where I was with uh, what I thought a real shit. Uh, the thing is, is that it was for that very reason. What was morally right? I saw what Colson was doing and challenged him because he was doing things that. Uh, he was leading the team for personal reasons, which was morally unacceptable. Uh, and I, I think that's just going to be inherent in that. And I think that it is going to cause conflict between the two of us because, well, I don't know if I can tell you because. <laughs> I, I, I just, I think there's going to be a. Uh, <laughs> Beautiful. Marvel comes in and cuts it off. Congratulations. Beautiful. Thank you, guys.